this video right here as you can see with the little header that we are currently inside of the sound Fantasy museum just one little interesting piece of information is that this was the last thing we did as we exited St. Alexander so it's kind of going to be going in reverse order because after this would be before that instead of going from the beginning of our trip to the end of our trip we're going from the end of our trip to the beginning of our trip On this map, California was, was a peninsula, by the way. And just for your information on something related to this, is that for parking, we went on the trolley tour, so then we got a free ticket to this museum, and we were able to park for free at the old jail, because you always know that San Alexi parking is quite hard to get by. So just a list of some things that we did um, on the video for a little preview. We are going to be visiting Fort Montezas and the San Augustine Scenic Cruise. But otherwise, like I said, we were on the trolley tour and um, we did not go to the lighthouse. But we did a lot of other things too. Here's what they say is a 66.2 pound piece of authentic silver. Interesting. Here's another one of those maps. That's where we are about to change music. And also just a little bit about this about this museum in general. They call it a walk through time because at the very beginning you saw the Native Americans and then here, and then we just came out of the Spanish era and here was um, the American era, <laughs> if you could say that. But just before where we are now, like early 20th century, mid 20th century. They have a little bit of what they say, the Florida Cracker. And here we have some pirates, because St. Alexander had a lot of pirates. And in general, also, we did visit Flatbird College. Is the fact that you can walk around the whole city pretty shortly so that you don't have to drive everywhere since parking's a nightmare. Coming up here is one of my favorite parts the train set. I really enjoy the train set because compared to the rest of the museum, you can actually kind of do a little bit of things because you can click buttons and see different things unfold. If you notice all these little red signs going around places, those red signs synchronize with the buttons, so then just to let you know when the button says cow, and then the little red sign has a picture of a cow, so then you know when you click that button, you're gonna see the cow move. And so we're about to get into Four Manta's Oz.
Now, one thing I did really enjoy about For Formanta's Oz is the how it was completely free, because a lot of things aren't, like the boat ride to it, since it's pretty short, and the boat ride back, all free. And it's kind of like a little Castillo de San Marcos. Yeah. Since the San Marcos is the big fort, this is the smaller one back in what they call the back door to San Augustine, which is the Mantazaz Inlet, as the Castillo de San Marcos blocks the San Augustine Inlet. If you saw that ladder, that ladder does lead up to the top part of Fort Mantazaz, which is mainly the watchtower. Right here, as we're about to walk into, is going to be the gun deck. And coming up as we go down these stairs, you're going to see a little window that I'm going to peer into. Right here. Inside there are the soldiers quarters, which we will be visiting shortly. Beds and where the soldiers lived. Spanish battle flag, which is that, the white with the red cross, and another view of the Mantazos River, because this was fortifying the Mantazos River from the Mantazos Inlet, as I said previously. Now how they said this fort was built, they said it was built with something called Coquina, or Cochina, depending on how you say it. And it's essentially sand and rocks compacted together, making something. And they don't build with it anymore, although that's pretty interesting because it lasted for hundreds of years. Why did they stop building with it? As we head into the soldiers' quarters, and here's the fireplace, and they keep the ammunition on the other side so the ammunition does not explode. And we'll get a little angle, a little angle of the tools. So we're about to go into another song. Yeah. 